Hello. So, uh, we come to our next uh, analysis of two variable data now. So, if you've done your correlation coefficient and you've got you've got a scatter plot uh, and you've got a you've got a strong or moderate correlation, you might want to know uh, the line at which they are all connected, the trend line, if you will. Uh, so, you may have seen something like this before. Uh, when you were in middle school, maybe you would have done line of best fit, and this was actually just an estimate, uh, sort of a roughly drawn line. You might be asked to go through an imaginary point, which is at the coordinates mean of x and mean of y, um, but still, it'll just be a, a rough guess. And whilst all guesses will be quite close to each other. Uh, this is not a very precise practice. Uh, yeah, I could draw another line here. That one there would be perfectly fine, basically. Uh, this one, I'll just shift it down, but you see the point, okay, this is not uh, very rigorous. Uh, so how can we make it? So how can we come up with a system for getting an exact equation of a line? Okay. Um, well, we could come up with some systems. Uh, we could go within a certain distance of half of the points. We could make sure half of the points are above, half the points are below. Um, but there's some problem with those suggestions. Uh, so what we're actually going to do is look at, uh, with our potential line, um, we're going to look at the vertical distances from every point to that line, okay, and make sure that they are as small as possible. Okay, so what we're going to do exactly is um, find, uh, given our potential line, we're going to find the vertical distance from each point to the line, and because some of those will be negative, we're going to square that, okay, and then based on all potential lines, we're going to find the one that has the minimum sum of those vertical distances squared. Okay, so let's show you what I mean by this. Here's a potential line. Okay. Now, uh, so we're finding the vertical distances, as you can see here, from the line to each point. Okay, we take all those distances, we'd square them, okay, and add them up, okay, and well, we'd eventually find a line that has uh, the smallest sum of all those vertical distances squared. Okay, that will be the line that in some ways is closest to every point, although it's a bit more complicated than that. Okay, so. Uh, how do we actually find this line? Obviously we're not going to do that by hand or start drawing lots of lines and adding up distances. And that would be way too complicated. And in fact the formula, uh, whilst doable, just like correlation coefficient, we won't have to do ourselves um, manually. Uh, at least uh, not in the exams, maybe in internal assessments. Uh, you might want to do that there. Uh, but in exams, uh, you will use your GDC to find the regression line. Um, in other cases, you may want to do it on a spreadsheet, uh, on Google Sheets or Excel. You can have a scatter plot and ask it to draw the trend line and even label it with the equation of that regression line. Okay, so on the GDC though, uh, how do we find it? Uh, it's actually exactly the same buttons same process as finding the correlation coefficient. Um, if you remember, the, the final screen was to click on lin reg ax plus b, um, and that's actually showing you a and b as well as r. Okay, and those values for a and b will be what we're going to plug in to our equation. Okay, it'll be a linear equation as it's a straight line. so y equals ax plus b is appropriate, 
A will be the slope, B will be the y-intercept, uh, as usual. Okay, and that will be the equation of the regression for A. Next, uh, the final thing, a uh, very common third or fourth or just final part of an IB question on this topic, uh, will be to estimate a y value given a certain x value. Um, so I'm just giving a rough equation for the regression line there. You should have the exact equation. Um, and say that we're given uh, x as 35 and told to find y. Uh, in the actual question, they'll, this will be a sort of worded question uh, with the actual variables we're using this in the question. Uh, so you'll have to identify um, which is x and which is y, okay? but you will always be asked to plug in x and calculate y, which will just be an estimate. Okay, so we plug in 35, and what we get is y393, okay, and yeah, because uh, there's just a strong correlation and none of the points are on the regression line, we can't say for certain that it will be exactly 393. Um, all we can say is that that's our best guess, okay, because that's our line that goes closest to each point. Um, so all we can do is estimate 393 um, whilst being perfectly aware that it could be anywhere from 420 to 350 quite easily. But 393 is our best guess, our best estimate.